Hey guys, um, this week I haven't done much sewing at all, oh well, who am I kidding, I haven't done any sewing at all and it's Friday evening and nothing's been done. So I thought I'm going to entertain you by showing you all the sewing that I've actually done last year and the year before. Um, so today I would like to show you my collection of summer coats and kimonos that's pretty much what it is currently i don't have any jackets i've made a couple of jackets but sadly they are no longer with us <laughs> don't ask but um i like the way i made them i just didn't they didn't look right on me so i had to let them go. So, right. So we're going to start with Seymour Quince. Um, this was made with... So, um, gosh, it's so creased. I'm so sorry. It's, um, I literally just ironed them last week uh, because I knew I would be showing you guys. So this was made with a lovely viscous twill. Um, I wear it a lot uh, during the summer when I go in the garden and it's very hot and I literally just have some sort of a swimsuit like a bathing suit or some sort of short something short and I just chuck this on um, um, yeah it creases a lot um, so you know Seamork um, Seamork patterns. So uh, I've had a subscription for quite a while. Um, so I have most of them. I think I've only I only don't have like last year's um, patterns, but all the patterns before that, um, Seamork and Colette, I have them all. So um, I went for I think it was like a midi length, a midi length um, kimono jacket. I did all the French seams on the inside obviously um, and I slip stitch um, the hem I also slip stitch the sleeve hem and do you know this um, this jacket has been washed like many 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 times and it still holds up okay actually oh, I top stitch the um, shoulder seams there um, yeah it's quite lovely the fabric was from the textile center I think and when I had the fabric I looked at it and I was like what on earth I'm gonna make with it I don't know but then when I made this this is perfect um, and actually you can see that it's peeling a little bit so I don't know if I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. But it's just a little bit of like a little fluffy, fluffy bubbles um, forming. But do you know what? For the amount of time I wore it and washed it and ironed it and handled it, it's really holding up really quite well. Um, and I do love the color. Um, it does come with a belt, um, which I I can't say I wear it too often, you know, that's another thing I've realised now. I don't like wearing belts. Um, and although my waist is quite defined, I would say, you know, like, yeah, I have a difference between, like, my hip and my waist, but I don't like accentuating it. I like things skimming over it and being quite loose, you know, not, like, big bubbles, a big tent over my figure, but I do like them quite like a straight-ish and like maybe wasted, but not, you know, cinched in. So that's that. So the next jacket is my beloved Suki robe by Helen's Closet. And I absolutely adore this color or I adore the fabric. The fabric is again from the textile center and it's a very, very very fine um 
like a dobby viscose I want to say it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's like a little bit satiny. Um, now, this pattern, I keep saying I should repeat, and I really, really should do it because it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, I spent a lot of time making it. I did, I think in one of my previous videos, I was showing how I followed um, Shans from Kittenish Behaviour tutorial, and I did all my um, seams French seamed and her tutorial showed you how to do it with inseam pockets so all my pockets are actually French seams so they're beautifully finished there's not a raw seam like in the whole in a whole garment you know and that just brings me so much joy um yeah I think I showed this garment up close already in one of my videos um so here's your um your belt loops and belt is attached at the back and um yeah it's just such a beautiful shape i've actually extended the placket and i made it down to the to the floor because in the original pattern it ends here and then you have just just a rest of a front um plane but I thought I wanted it all pla placketed <laughs> all along the front. So just, I can't see what I'm doing to stop stitching there. Um, um, yeah, I don't think there's much. Well, there's a little bit of hand stitching here, actually. Um, so that's my second, like a kimono style. I would allowed to say that I don't think we are um, but it's my second um, like a robe like this um, I know Helen wears them she wears them over her like day clothes to go out but to me this is forever my my house my house coat <laughs> you know um, I don't know I think I might make another one with a slightly thicker viscose maybe or maybe even polyester that will kind of look the fabric look more appropriate to be worn outside because this is a bit just a bit too thin in in my head i don't know but i absolutely love the color so next pattern is made with um ankara fabric um and it's a vogue 8926 version b i cut it out in large um, it's unlined, unlined jacket, and it didn't take too long to make at all. And I've, um, funnily enough, I chose to do um, pinking. I don't know if you can see actually. I chose to do pinking um, on sun some seams. This is my shoulder seam, so you can see there's like a pinking here. But then some of my seams are. Um, finished with a bias binding um, and obviously you put the bias binding all over all the way around the jackets uh, I love the shape of it it's absolutely gorgeous and even for the little bit of the stiffness of this fabric I really don't mind do you know I have three different bias binding colors <laughs> On this jacket this is the third one I, I don't know why I don't know what I was doing but um this is the bottom um I love the fabric um it was quite easy to make I think the longest was um I think the longest time I think the longest um part of it of making it was actually doing the um bias binding finishing but um yeah, I'll pop it on and I'll put a video on for you because every time I wear it, I do get a lot of compliments, actually. Um, this and Cara fabric are bought on the internet. Um, and in fact, I bought quite a few. I got very, uh, um, very excited about um, African wax print and I got quite a few cuts of fabric. And I know now that I'm not going to use 
at least three of them. So um, I'm actually in the process of preparing a de-stash. So um, keep an eye out. I will make an announcement on Instagram and I'll tell you where to look when it's all ready. Right, so my next summer coat is um, Vogue 9246. Um, I think this pattern came free with Love Sewing magazine, so there's plenty of it around at the moment um, because, you know, people usually, if they don't like it, they just try to get rid of it on eBay or Etsy or, you know, um, Facebook selling groups. So it's Vogue 9246. Um, it's a trench, I think it's online trench B, and I cut it in large. The fabric I got from Material Girl Laura, and at the time, she was she's announced clo th that she was closing down and she put everything on sale and i absolutely fell in love with this floral fabric and she had it in four different colorways so it was this like a purpley this lilac lilac pink there was um light blue there was white uh, there was yellow and i bought at least three meters of each of this one this one I've had like five meters <laughs> um yellow I only have about two and a half white I have like three and a half so I have loads of this fabric in different colorways and I absolutely love it it's a, it's um it's kind of has a it's a polyester obviously but it has like a raised surface and um apart from the realistic looking flowers and I feel like this is almost like a bit of a vintage kind of style of these flowers, but um, it also has like a texture to the fabric. It's absolutely gorgeous, I think. So anyway, let's talk about the trench coat. I lined um, the back yoke and I also didn't tell you to do that, but I think I actually did it myself. I don't know what happened. Oh, I lined the whole of the sleeves with this lovely lilac fabric and now I'm so glad I did because I never ever wear them down um, and I just wear them rolled up like this so when you wear it you have your coat in pink and obviously you don't see this but what you can see is this gorgeous lilac popping up um, as a beautiful accent I absolutely love that color it's my favorite color in the world so um what can i say about it let's look on the inside on the inside um on the inside we've got lined we've got lined pockets we've got um bias bias binding and again bias binding um, at the bottom um, I didn't do them on face front facings and what's happening here yeah so that's it and um, yeah all the sleeves and sleeves are obviously lined inside and then I finish them with bias binding the um the armholes so this is what i did um and i can tell you now i wore this one already like at least five times since it got warm and that considering i don't even leave the house that often i don't leave the house every day so i wear it all of the time um I also use this fabric to make clots, but that will be, I'll, sh I'll tell you about that in my other segment at some point where I will be talking about all my trousers that I've made. So one of my favorites, absolute favorites. I haven't seen this fabric, unfortunately, anywhere on the internet, but if you do see it, um, I would suggest you grab some because it's, it's lovely, you know, on the on the inside it just looks I don't know if you can tell but it just looks a bit like a mat and then um, the the pattern is just like a dream to me is this just everything that a floral print should have <laughs> for me okay moving on 
So, right, so my next pattern I'm going to show you is uh, Vogue 7878, and this was the first unlined summer coat that I've made. And again, the fabric was from uh, the textile center, and I'm going to show you the fabric. I don't know if you can see up close. If you can't see, I will pop a picture of up close of the fabric because it's absolutely gorgeous. It has a bit of a raised pattern like little bumps on it and so it makes the print really stand out and the print is gorgeous and I've actually been asked whether this coat is Ted Baker <laughs> because it just has that quality of fabric and it's not even an expensive fabric it's really quite relatively cheap I put my label here with this coat, I finished everything. So I finished everything with, again, bias binding. And this time I've actually made bias binding on my um, facings. And also, I think it's... Uh, on the hem. Um, yeah, I don't know much to say about it actually, um, apart from the fact that I didn't feel like doing bias binding on this bit here. Why? I don't know. Designer, designer decision, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, d I only finished, um, I see what I've done. I've finished the seams on the sides um, by just turning them over and then I didn't feel like finishing the pocket seams at all. I know that this fabric doesn't fray but Oi Elisa! Very naughty, very naughty. Look at that. How untidy is that? But it's fine. I don't mind that. Don't tell anybody. That's fine. Nobody will ever know. Um, so I'm just going to say that this pattern is perfect um, for me. It's perfect shape, it's perfect length, it's um, perfect sleeve, it's perfect everything. And I wore this this um, summer coat to death. I took it to Ukraine with me a couple of years ago. I was wearing it to work like literally every day before the pandemic started. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous gorgeous and um oh this fabric also you need to know that it stretches a little bit it has a little bit of stretch i think it's called like a textured stretch crepe or something it's not thin it's not thin it has a little bit it's something it's like almost like a baby scuba almost but even thinner than that you know um if you come across something like this you should definitely get it I don't think you can see the texture of it. So that's that one. And I loved this pattern so much that I actually make another coat using this pattern. This coat, again, is made of bark tree crepe from the textile center. And um, you can see you can see the texture again. With this one, what did I do? Again, this is your sleeve, everything's quite, everything's quite tidy in there. Then you've got your, um, the seams are, thank God, are finished in here. Um, and the sleeves are tidier and then also the hem Is all very cute I think uh, this bias binding is the one I brought from Ukraine with um, this coat in mind it's hand stitched here and this is quite heavy and um, with this fabric because it's so heavy it almost needed a bit more structure on the shoulders because if you look at my shoulders they are um, quite I would say they're quite narrow um, and I would also say they are a little 
like sloping not too much um i can i don't need you know you can't see it in like shirts or anything but when you wear something heavy like this that needs it like a stronger shoulder you can really actually see that the balance is a bit off so i did have to make um little pads to go in and these pads i actually bought um so these are just a small set of pads and, and then i just overlock them on gosh then i just overlock them on my overlocker um with a scraps of the fabric that i have left after making this coat so yeah so this is again just to prove that this pattern let me just repeat it again it is vogue 7878 is an absolute find like for me yes absolutely i didn't wear this one too much i think because it's a little bit heavier and a little bit warmer i think it's more almost like a like an autumn autumn um coat but it gives me um like a 1940s vibe almost um i don't know tell me what you think do you think i'm imagining it or is it really looking a little bit 40s but yeah this is my collection of unlined summer coats and jacket <laughs> and two robes i don't have any me made jackets in my wardrobe right now but the plan is to make a few and i have some specific the specific ones in mind not the patterns but i have a specific looks the specific looks in mind that I will be going out there and looking what I have in my pattern stash and my digital pattern stash and what is out there and obviously I will be checking out our wonderful Vicky says because they have some stunning jacket patterns okay I think um, I gave you a little bit of um, sewing yummies for a minute <laughs> i don't know if i'm going to be sewing this weekend or not if not i will show you some other sewing stuff just to you know just to give you a bit of sewing content anyway so i hope you like my collection